I'm here with Councillor Wall at Acton Mainline Station so we can talk about Ealing Council's new statement on tall buildings that we've released today. We know that this is an important issue for everyone who loves their local community and we also understand that there's huge concern towards planning applications that propose tall buildings like the one behind us here at Friary Park. Our administration promised residents in May that we would be open, honest and transparent and by releasing this statement on tall buildings we want to assure you that your concerns and priorities are at the heart of what we do. Our statement tells developers what we want, which is good growth in Ealing. We don't want speculative planning applications proposing tall buildings that are inappropriate for their surroundings. Instead, we want to work with developers who will help us deliver what we need. Genuinely affordable homes across the borough and good, well-paid jobs for local people. We've also released new local planning policy guidance and associated housing design guides and a character study that everyone in the planning application process is now expected to follow. This sets the character of our seven towns and encourages good quality and sustainable homes through new housing design guidance. We want new development to enhance what we already love about Ealing. At the same time, we want people to have the chance to live, work and grow old in the borough they grew up in. That's why our council house building programme is the most ambitious in London and we're on track to hit our target of two and a half thousand genuinely affordable new homes in the borough by May 2022. We now have a once in a generation opportunity to make sure that future development in Ealing works for the community and over the next few months we'll be redoing the local plan from scratch. The launch of Shaping Ealing, our engagement for the local plan, is an opportunity for us all to engage in this process. We're asking you for your say about how Ealing grows in the 21st century, so I encourage as many people as possible to take part. Our commitment to Ealing in May was to be open, honest and transparent, and we'll continue to ensure that development puts residents in the driving seat.